Okay, a quick example of how we use the pre-judgment interest calculator in our tax calculator function. We've got the date incurred, the amount, the hearing date, and an amount of, in this case, $100,000. And we've got a little formula there called pre-judge interest with some references, so references to the hearing date, the date incurred, and the amount. We can just enter on that. And we, but the thing is, we can change that for a different amount, say $200,000, and it changes the pre-judgment amount. Or let's say we've got a hearing date of the 30th of June 2012, we can change it again. So it's a fairly simple example. We can use our online calculator to do the same thing. The real benefit comes in using it on multiple transactions. In this case, we've got a hearing date of 31st of March 2012, and we want to, we've got a series of different amounts being incurred over time. We wanted to calculate pre-judgment interest using our tax calculator function and the prejudgment interest function we can quickly just drag and drop and get the total